Today on Toy Shiz, Mutant Monsters and Mayhem, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh early look at the brand new Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Villain Figures 6 pack. This is going to be available starting now at your local comic book shops, specialty shops, things of that nature. So if you want one, that's how you can grab one. And this packaging is gorgeous. It's very evocative of the original mutant module, big old vehicle with the drill on it. The artwork is just outstanding. And it's actually really cool to see artwork for the actual action figures. They look like they have the joints and such. I mean, even Krang on the back, even though he's getting blasted to death he's having a blast just hanging out on the back of the drill i don't know then the front yeah the packaging has the drill which is kind of cool on the bottom classic collection villains figures and then what you do is you just simply cut the tape open it up and bingo bango you got six brand new old school 1980s villains teenage mutant ninja turtles figures and the card artwork is relatively a mix of the toys r us re-releases in the old school in a way cross sells and you get to see the old artwork mixed with the new but you have baxter stockman you have krang in all his glory you also have rock steady as well a foot soldier bebop which we'll get into him in just a second and slash making his triumphant return and you best believe it i'm pulling out all my original teenage mutant ninja turtle villains that appear in this box set we're going to do a whole bunch of comparisons I'm not going to talk about articulation because if you have these, you know it. You know how these things go. But in either case, this is going to be fun. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee and one of those Ninja Turtle mugs. I know you have one. This is a look at the brand new TMNT Villains 6-pack by Playmates Toys. So we're going to kick things off with Baxter Stockman. And in comparing it to my original Playmates figure, you can already see the differences between the two. There are some subtle ones on the front, but mostly when you start looking at them on the back, you look at the weapon, there are things that you go, okay, that's a little bit off. From looking at these for years and years, there's some things where you're right off the bat, you're like, wait a minute. So the weapon's a little bit different. His syringe needle in his pocket isn't painted. This weapon used to be two pieces. Now it's just kind of a gummy thing that's been glued together, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't move. It doesn't do anything. It's just very flexible. The veins on his feet, his legs are unpainted, which is a bummer, as you can see on the original one. And when you turn him around in the back, it loses all the paint in the wings. He's almost completely blank on the back in a sense. You can see where on the original, the wings where the shirt would rip, it was all purple in there, veins on the legs, like I said, the wings all had design of purple in it as well, veins on the arms. It's just kind of a, eh, okay, why the lack of paint? Moving on into Rock Steady. Now, the differences between the two of these are more subtle. There's not a whole lot, like we'd say Baxter Stockman, but again, once you start looking at them, you're like, no, oh, okay, I can see this. Now, here's a big bummer to me. Now, if you're going to leave this in the package, it's not a big deal. But if you were thinking about getting these for weapons or keeping the tree intact, it's folded up like this in the box. It's already broken. The tree has already been warped and everything else. It's folded just like that in there. The weapons are a little bit lighter gray than the originals. The originals are a darker gray. But in either sense, I'll give him these weapons as well, including this guy's belt. But in looking at the new Rocksteady, there are some paint differences. His wrists are not painted. The turtle shell, yeah, I guess that'd be the same. I can't tell you because I lost mine long ago. But the army pants, all the black is gone. It's a different shade of green now as well. The eyes, a little bit less red. That's not a big deal to me. The face is largely the same. The back is largely the same. But yeah, there's just elements, certain things here and there where it's missing and it's okay. Now in looking at Krang, it's where you start to see things look a little bit better. And between the two, yes, the dome on mine is incredibly yellow. And <laughs> it's nice to have a nice clear see-through dome on this new chair not gonna lie but if you look at the actual krang himself he's a little bit darker in the colors the veins the pink 
it's not that big a deal. That's one where you go like, okay, whatever, doesn't matter. The chair is largely the same. All the paint is there. I don't have the old wire, so it's nice to have that again. But the backside, if you're thinking like, oh, it's no paint, there's nothing like that. There's no paint on the back of the original one either. But he sits in there nicely. It all closes up. Everything moves. Everything looks exactly the same for the most part. And as you can see, yeah, the paint does not transfer onto the back from the old to the new. But it's just a little bit lighter blues, a little bit lighter pinks on the original crank. But in either sense, so far, this is the one that fares the best. In looking at Slash, this is one that is very near and dear to me. I love the character of Slash, so it's nice to have a brand new shiny spiffy one right out of the packaging with all the weapons. I am missing a couple weapons right here, so this one will kind of help to, uh, you know, fix that situation. Wink, wink. But overall, kind of like Krang, the new Slash might be a little bit darker in some aspects, but he looks the same. It just kind of looks new. The weapons are cool, they're all intact, he's got every single weapon, and he looks nice. He actually, next to Krang, like I said, fares the best in terms of getting all the original paint. There's not much difference between this guy and that guy. Certainly, yes, you can tell the plastic's a bit newer. Yes, you could put the weapon in the back of his belt, his tail, all the spots, all the spikes, everything is painted on this guy, including the gums. But little to no difference. This is one of the best ones of the set and as you'll come to soon find out that's a very welcome thing if anything if you need to get it get it for the slash in terms of the foot soldier already i bet you're like ah oh, see the difference <laughs> there's not a whole lot but it's mostly in the paint and kind of in the way i feel like the figure was reassembled deassembled however you want to do it like rocksteady's weapon tree this one was completely folded up in the packaging as well so it's already broken it's kind of a bummer and but if you're not going to remove it you're never going to know so in that sense you keep it as a intact situation but he's got new weapons coming on the old guy this one right right off the bat what is on his forehead there's no foot symbol it's like a boop you know it just kind of got booped with paint whereas the original yeah that's a footprint the eyes are a lot brighter. The foot purple is a lot darker. There's something off about this foot soldier. Yeah, it looks relatively the same, but I feel like it's the plastic, it's the feel. It feels lighter. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't look the same. It's like they did something to it. Where especially you look at this one, it looks a lot more sturdy. I don't know what it is. Can't put my finger on it, but there's just something up with this new foot soldier. And it ain't my favorite. Now, this is where we go. This is the complete miss. A lot of people joked last time of the last Ninja Turtle box that I looked at and said they called it a bootleg. And I disagree. I'm going to agree with you on this one in that sense. So to kick it off, we'll look at the weapons tree. Largely, I don't have any weapons left for my Bebop. So I'm going to say we're fine. Fair is the best, right? But to look at this Bebop up close, let's just say this. I've had my original Bebop for years. I know what the figure looks like. When you see this... Yeah, you're gonna go, what's with all the missing paint? He looks like he got splashed in the face with Homer's makeup gun. The armbands aren't painted. Largely the chains, everything. Little details right here on the back. Yeah, he's got the design. Darker colors in most sense. But past the waist, no chain, no tail, no shoes. Nothing is painted. So in that sense, that is very bootleg-ish. It looks like he was just cobbled together and you'd find him at like a swap meet. Where you look at the original Bebop, mine's all beat up, but hey, he's got more paint than this one got going on. The tail, the chains, the shoes, everything. Brighter colors. The face is actually painted correctly. So if you look at this set past the sense of the artwork and the gorgeous box that houses them all, but then you look deep within and you look at the actual figures. If you were planning on opening this, no, I wouldn't think you'd fare well. But if you keep it intact, I'll leave it up to you. So that's going to do it for my look at the brand new Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Villains 6-pack. I'm honestly going to tell you, if you have any plans to get this set, thinking you're going to get it to open these up and display, I would go for the old ones more than I would ever recommend this. If you're the TMNT collector that wants it for the artwork and you're never going to open this box set, you're going to keep it right on your shelf, perfect. This box set is going to work for you. But again, if you are planning on getting these as a gift 
or for someone to say, hey, remember your old Ninja Turtles are gone? I got you these brand new ones. No, buy them the old ones. The lack of respect for these old molds and missing all this paint on certain figures is just not cool. And so in that sense, I cannot recommend this box set in that sense. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these Ninja Turtle figures. Are they for you? Do you not care about the paint? Do you not care about broken trees? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Ninja Turtles. And thank you again to Playmates for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, pizza points, baby. We're missing the pizza points. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.